What's going on, Mr. Motlesses? Pull back! Repeat! All Dominion forces in the trench! Retreat! We've lost control! Carry me! This is Warfield. I know you can hear me. I have a message for you. Bring everything you have. Bring your whole swarm! I don't want to hunt down stragglers after we I feel like the guy that voices Warfield must have an insanely good voice. Who's the voice actor for Warfield? Gary Anthony Williams. American actor, comedian, and filmmaker. Lieutenant, get the wounded to those shuttles. I fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Do you think he uh, grew out his mustache specifically for this role? That'd be nice. He needs more gray in the mustache, but other than that, yeah. <sighs> one more mission. I'm gonna do one more mission. I said the previous mission was the, the final mission, but we're gonna go one more mission. I wanna do another one. My queen, I have been. Okay. Do I get a um No. I was wondering if maybe like the aberrations and stuff would show up over here too, but I think I'm gonna do one more mission. Yeah. I uh, gotta play a little bit of RimWorld afterwards. Do I have enough for the next tier? Sadly not. You finished the F2 mod? Oh, I haven't played that one. How is the F2 mod? Is it worth playing? It's fun. You're really selling me on this, man. <laughs> yes, it's fun. Ay, ay, ay. It has its challenges. Okay, okay, nice. It's quite enjoyable. Once again. Oh my we god. Must destroy why are they so big? They will fight why why is this they have. We need only your command, my queen. You have to pick a build that the AI will macro, but sometimes the builds are annoying. Ah, okay. What's up, Felix? Hello. We reached the Terran fortress. They're dug in and ready for us. There's no need to settle to here. We will go after them wherever they are. <laughs> I have Bailings that shoot Bailings in this particular campaign. All of the units are insane. I feel like I can win the game with this entire army you gave me at the start of the missions, Agara. Here they come. Lock and load. Repel the Zerg assault. Don't budge an inch. I guess a hundred and yeah, no, we have we have about two minutes here. Or no, actually we only have a minute and a half. For some reason I thought it was a, a 120 second timer. I thought it was metric time, but it's imperial time. I got confused. Oh my god, we got more? Alright. I'll just keep all army hotkeying everything. Even the Warhound stood no chance. Okay. I think I'm actually gonna go down to the Wipe right side base as well. These bugs will never take charge. Yeah, they talk about inches in this campaign. Funny. Ha ah, ah. ha. What's next? Liquid ounces? Ha <laughs> ha ha. Fahrenheit? Okay. Time for the nuclear option. Kill them all. That's a few nukes. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. A little mean. A little mean. It's 
Sad days. All right. Warfield nukes in this mission are deployed by ghosts. Be sure to intercept them before they can cause too much damage. Abomination mutations can now be picked up from the spawning pool. Ah, okay. Abominations have a 50% increased anti-air attack speed and plus one anti-air range. Abominations have plus two base armor. Abominations passively regenerate creep around. No, dude, we go base base armor for sure. What do you mean? Okay. I went with the uh, crawler upgrade here, which I hope will work out kind of nicely. In my uh, oh, I have uh, devourers too, right? Don't I? Yeah. I think this will work out kind of nicely in this mission to snipe all of the ghosts. That's the plan. Yeah, nukes that are thrown around the map using ghosts. What a unique concept. Devourers are so nice. Men, we've located the Zerg Hive cluster. They're Deploy always really strong teams. though. You just nuked me here. What do you mean you've located it? Of course you have. You just nuked that exact location. Maybe it was just randomizing his nukes. Doesn't even pay attention to the map. That would prove him as a Silver League player at best though. Do you really want to have a Silver League general? Silver League is all they can afford. Maybe you're right. I don't know if the armor upgrade for my flying units also gives additional HP. Yeah, maybe after the events of Wings of Liberty, Manx gets a little poorer. Going some extra, uh, some extra queens here. Do I have to defend this base as well? well I guess I do. I feel like I always am supply blocked in this mod. I don't know why. I keep getting supply blocked every three seconds. Tactical nuke. Am I supposed to find it? Well, I don't see it. I don't know how the AI nukes. There's something cloaked over here. Oh, that's not my unit, that's Sagara's unit. Oh my god, this is Sagara building static defense now too. I don't love that. Sagara with a regular baneling. How weird. How quaint. I hit another supply block, because of course I did. Why am I always poor when I play this map? Well, throwing a half dozen workers, actually more than that, around the map to just sit there, it's not optimal. Okay. I'll try and clean out this base over on the right first. Although, well, maybe she's handling herself just fine. Hey, Fear Dragon! I can't believe I've been subscribed for 84 hours. That's three and a half days. Feels like just last week I discovered Loco hadn't quit StarCraft 2 and decided to subscribe. Man, time truly does fly, doesn't it, Fear Dragon? No worries, though. I, after this mission, am going to switch games. Just so, you know, my story of quitting StarCraft 2 can continue. We require more minerals. 84 months. Is that what I think it is? Seven years, right? Yeah! I will gladly get my entire army nuked for you. I don't know where the nuke is. I was not paying attention to it, but I'll just pretend that it didn't happen where I... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Think of it as seven years, Mr. 
Fear Dragon. It's a French name. Are we clapping for the nuke? No, we were clapping, but okay, yeah, whatever. Do not let Zagara's hive be destroyed. Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta make sure she stays safe. Upgraded spine crawlers is actually kind of nice. I'm losing quite a lot of troops here, though. Okay. I got my command center. Whoa. That's a little mean, don't you think? Intimidation? Really? Never has intimidation ever worked in the campaign. Never go, do they go like, leave now or I'm gonna murder everything you know. They're always gonna be like, nah. Don't care. Didn't hear you. Nah, 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 nah. Don't hear what you're saying. Hey, 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 that's my command center now. Okay, I would like to get some more upgrades. There we go. You cannot stop me. I mean, maybe I should just get Maybe I should just get uh, a bunch of mutas here too. Mutas with additional range does not sound like a bad plan. At least there's no Oh god. Where are all those nukes? I never see the nukes going down anywhere. I think there were some nukes over here, but it seems like we're controlling it reasonably well. Oh, I thought there were no parasitic bombs, but I guess there are. Ghost teams, Bravo and Delta, open fire. You first found out about Fear Dragon when Loco played a video of RV calling people out on their MMR in real time. That MMR mod was really sick. It basically allowed you to link your Twitch account to your Battle.net account, if I'm not mistaken. And then whenever somebody... ...set some sort of balance su suggestion in the chat, you could basically check their league first. Before you would start up the entire conversation. You can just verify their ranking. I wonder if that still works. That was a fun mod, actually. I like that one. I don't think it really needs to work anymore, Fear Dragon, because in 2024, nobody actually plays StarCraft 2 anymore. So it's basically irrelevant now. It's, it's lost its own relevancy over time. They couldn't chat until they filled out the form. Yeah, yeah, everybody's GM these days. Like, even Motless is, you know? That means that they really let everybody in there. Oh no. Hey, Matt! Thank you very much. 19 months much, wow. Wow! Thank you very much, dude. Okay, I think uh, Zagara is pretty safe at this point. Oh, don't clump your mutas. Those were devourers. Some mutas in the back, though. Evacuate civilians. Soldiers, stand your ground. Okay, I'll make some more upgrades. And we'll head on over in this direction. Why didn't they just evac the civilians beforehand? But what's the point of evacuating civilians? You think he cares? Dude, there's so many nukes, but I never... Ah. Okay. 
I never noticed him, but I think the static defense is doing a pretty good job taking care of all of it. I maxed out this entire time. I have so many free bases. Oh, this one's gonna go down though. Could have maybe dropped the mule. Turn to this. You just refer to her as a girl? Yikes. Yikes. I'm literally so offended right now, dude. Not for myself, but for her. Literally. This is a new sort of harassment where we use big bane links to throw bane links at the opponent's mineral line. Maxed out. Toxic masculinity in StarCraft 2. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Do I even have to do anything? Yeah, I'm gonna grab the bonus objective. I wonder if Zagara is just gonna finish the mission for me. Because at this point, I don't think Zagara's base will ever die. Gaping Maw obtained. Devourers gain plus 25%. At okay. I'll clear out the low ground, and I will see if Zagara can, like, win the mission. You should have left Char to me, Warfield. As long as the swarm survives. Yeah, I'll, I'll clear everything up until the gate. I uh, probably do need some detection in some space, huh? or in some places. Widow mines. Everybody's favorite unit. All my friends love widow mines. Ghost! Dead. Damn, sick micro there by uh, Kerrigan though. Immediately activating it. He's not slow, like me. All right. Yeah, there's still some Terrans on that island, but let's see. This is Zagara pushing forward by herself. There is the Pride of August Rat. It's a bit big. Yeah. Zagara dies. I think I think she will clear it eventually. It's just gonna take her about seven years. <laughs> I think I'll make some devourers, because it's going to take a long ass time. So it's got 2200 HP, 18 damage, 52 damage on the other one. I was going to say, that doesn't seem that much, but that's the air to air. So this is uh, 104 damage per shot versus armored, and obviously it attacks pretty quick. How much armor does it have? Nine. Yeah, I think eventually Zagara would win, but it's just gonna take a while. Yeah. 
Um, Zerklings, go! I need supply. So I can- Oh! No! I meant to warp! Ah, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh, I wanted to morph my Mutas into Devourers, which I thought was Hotkey Z. Which is normally the hotkey to morph, you know, Mutas. But that is Blink. Of course. How did I not consider the fact that Hotkey Z was Blink for my Mutalisks? Hotkey Z. 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 I'm becoming American? Absolutely. I make the Pledge of Allegiance every morning, Motlesis. You cannot stop me. Have you made the Pledge of Allegiance this morning, Motlesis? Mineral field depleted. Oh, say can you depleted. see? Motless is being awfully quiet here. I don't think he made the Pledge of Allegiance this morning, guys. He is not saying yes. And he seems to be ignoring my question. You pledge together with your cats? Oh yeah, your cats are American too, of course. I forgot about that. Okay, let's go, Kerrigan! Kerrigan is sending in the Mutas, or sorry, sending in the Banelings through the choke point. He's very committed. There we go. The powers are pretty powerful, huh? Yeah, pretty good air to air. Deploy SCBs. Repair that breach. I've never heard anybody say SCVs that deliberately. Very nice. I don't need a Naga artifact to deal with you. Give up the ghost, old man. You had a good run. Hey! Chat! Fireworks! I love fireworks. What? My unit didn't even die! <laughs> Let everything die to it. Okay. Yeah, SCVs are the famous counter to devourers. Yeah, that was a tiny little nuke. Didn't even kill roaches. Oh wait, hold up. <coughs> Lieutenant, get the wounded to those shuttles. We're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? He's got a great mustache. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> you pledge the uh, you pledge every morning while looking at yourself in the mirror? I'll get out another way. That's beautiful, man. I feel like that hurts. Like that clearly went in through the back, and now you decide to pull it out through the front. Like I don't, I, I, I don't know, man. The alternative is not great either. Don't get me wrong. Oh, it's so cute. Ugh. Ugh. Bring back the zerkling. You listen to me. I have three shuttles packed with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? Nope. <laughs> nope. There's no way out. You bitch. You're not even human anymore. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck, dude? You betrayed Holy us all. shit, dude. For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now? <gasps> oh no, you didn't.
Why would she let those people go? Like, she's already massacred so many. Why not just, you know... Still a better story than Twilight? No, dude. The love story in Heart of the Swarm is genuinely one of the worst in any game ever. Like, the more I, I play this campaign, the more I realize that the love story really is super weak. <laughs> There's not even any, any vampires in this one. I have seen Twilight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. At least if you compare Kerrigan or the Queen of Blades to Kerrigan in StarCraft 1, like... <sighs> Loco, we don't kill people that surrender, it's a war crime? I mean... <sighs> Look, my main problem with the entire Heart of the Swarm campaign is that this entire event, like the entire set of events that we've just gone through, it happens because she sees a news article about Emperor Mengsk announcing that Raynor is dead. Right? Now, that wouldn't be an issue if Emperor Mengsk was known to be a pretty trustworthy dude. But not only does he constantly spread fake news everywhere, he literally betrayed her directly. Like, how in the world does she suddenly believe? It makes no sense. Makes no sense. Hey, thank you very much. Flying Lurker. Ay, ay, ay. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Casual 10 additional subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's just a bit of a shame, you know? Why, why did it have to be a love story? So I guess you could consider... Oh, snap, filling in the sellout bar. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Where's the hot tub stream, Loco? Uh, exclamation point hot tub in the chat. Loco hating on love. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, but you know, like, StarCraft, like, Wings of Liberty kind of had, like, a love story as the side story, and that kind of became the main story, I guess. Welcome to my hot tub stream. Enjoy it. This is an accurate photo of me. Now, you may be asking yourself, Loco, why are your shoulders and your body and whatnot? Why is it a different color? Uh, look, I don't want to talk about it. Um, the spray tan went way wrong, okay? Yeah, it was... I'm T-posing in the tub. Absolutely, yeah. It is 100% an, accu an accurate photo of me. 100%, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You see those pecs? You see those shoulders? Ay, yeah, yeah. I'm not messing around, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I think the story in, in Heart of the Swarm is where it gets kind of weak. Like, Wings of Liberty's story is actually kind of fun. I think that's kind of fun. The Heart of the Swarm just feels a bit... Eh, eh. <sighs> Anyways. Legacy of the Void story gets a bit better again overall, I think. Wings of Liberty was kind of a nice story on its own, though, I guess, right? Like, you didn't really need anything after Wings of Liberty. So they kind of... they made it a bit nicer. Yeah, Legacy of the Void's epilogue was a bit... The whole Zelnaga thing, the whole Zelnaga thing I find very lame. I think it was a lot more fun when the Zelnaga were those mythical things that were kind of in the background and they seemed to have hidden powers and stuff. Yeah, it's just, eh, eh, eh. Because you kind of set yourself up for the World of Warcraft thing, you know? Where like, Every new update in World of Warcraft, there's an even bigger and even better guy, and then you've got the worst guy of them all, but it turns out the worst guy of them all was controlled by an even worse guy all this time? Ah. I don't know, man. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. It just... It just escalates a little bit. It gets a bit tiring, yeah, absolutely. But it doesn't really have to be that way. I think you can set up for that sort of thing. Especially if you have professional writers that, you know, write stories. <laughs> like, you'd imagine that these are things that you can, you know, quote-unquote solve, but... I don't know. They have some cool characters, though. I will say that the characters in Heart of the Swarm are all fantastic. I just think overall the plot is a bit lame. The setting is pretty cool. The characters are fantastic. I think all of these characters are cool. Isha is awesome. Zagara is awesome. The Haka is awesome. Abathur is awesome. Interestingly enough, I think Kerrigan is the weakest one. <laughs> yeah. Ker Kerrigan is kind of, you know... I think the World of Warcraft story, up until Wrath of the Lich King, is fun. Yeah. It goes downhill at that point. But kind of, I think what happened, though, for World of Warcraft is, like, they kind of expected that game to last as long as all of their previous games did. So, you know, like, they made, they made a game, and then they made an expansion, maybe a second expansion, and then you move to the next game, right? So, like, in the Burning Crusade, you end up killing um, Illidan, right? So Illidan ends up dying, who's the big bad guy from Warcraft, right? And then in Wrath of the Lich King, you end up killing, spoiler alert, you end up killing the Lich King, right? Um, at that point... You've kind of killed the big bad guys. And then I had to start fishing a new, and yeah, invent new ones. And it just... Dude, I'm still not over the Jailer. Like, the Jailer is so annoying to me. <laughs> what is this? What? This is amazing. Arthas was controlled by Ner'zhul, was controlled by Kill Jaden, was controlled by Sargeras, was controlled by the Jailer. What? By Flappy Bird? I, I, evil as a, I don't even know these last couple tiers. But this is kind of how it goes, though. The Jailer could have been cool. It could have been cool. But... <sighs> yeah. I guess that may be the problem with high fantasy in general, though. Yes. Like, was Sauron the ultimate bad guy in Lord of the Rings? I I don't I haven't I haven't read the whole thing you know the summer really and everything there's probably more levels above it yeah Morgoth was right I actually think Mist of Pandaria in World of Warcraft was good yeah story wise I think that story was a lot more interesting than you know the shit that that has been going on since then I think actually as far as like side steps go I always forget about mists. But I think the zones in Mist of Pandaria were awesome. The music was fantastic. The raids were really fun. I think Mist was actually like I don't really know how people rank on rate the different World of Warcraft expansions, but I think Mist was was good. Yeah. I mean, it was it was not like you know Legacy or Legacy Devoid. It wasn't Wrath of the Lich King's levels of good, but it was it was better for sure than like Cataclysm and whatever. Yeah. Who made the Zelnaga? You gotta wait until StarCraft 3, dude. <laughs> if they ever make a StarCraft 3, I'm sure we'll hear about who made the Zelnaga. <laughs> I guess also with StarCraft though in general, I feel like humans are kind of forced on us, you know? I, I would have been totally okay if like in the storyline of StarCraft 2, humans were just wiped out entirely. Because, like, think about it, man. There is absolutely zero chance that humans with this technology that they have in the game would even remotely do decently well against either the Zerk or the Protoss. There's no way. Like, the Zerk are just kind of endless. The Protoss can literally blow up planets. Terrans? Terrans would not have a chance. Like, we would, we would just be... Yeah. We would just be a bump in the road, man. They have tanks and widow mines, Loco? Alright, that's true, I guess. <laughs> Imagine if they actually just wiped the humans out with the end of StarCraft Wings of Liberty. Like, they just got rid of the humans entirely. Lore-wise, there's no more humans around. <laughs> that would have been a pretty interesting story. 
Yeah, then maybe Kerrigan turning into the Queen of Blades would make sense. Uh, just delete Terran from the ladder too. Like, if you think about who would ever win in, like, you know, the StarCraft universe in a in an all-out conflict, right? Would it be the humans? Would it be the Protoss? Would it be the Zerg? It's definitely not the humans. That's that's what we there find out. Like, it's very hard to say if it would be Zerg or Protoss. Terrans have democracy? I mean... <laughs> I don't know, man. Manx, Manx does not seem like the... He's like a one one party type of guy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the U the United Earth Directorate from StarCraft Brute War. What is it? Like uh Campaign 5, Chapter 5? That was cool. Like that was a really cool storyline, no? Why why did we never yeah, that just sort of ended, I guess, at some point, and we just kind of, yeah, never heard of them again. Yeah, bit of a shame. Anyways, I got started with this particular campaign a couple of streams ago, and it's been an absolute blast. So real quick, this is the Enhanced Swarm campaign for Heart of the Swarm, which is a custom campaign made for Heart of the Swarm by... I'm forgetting his name right now. Although I've got him in my friends list and I saw him online. Ahmed. No, is it Ahmed? I think it is. Ahmed. Ah, close enough. Close enough. Um, so this is made based on the Nightmare difficulty, which is an another custom mod, which basically makes the game a whole lot harder. Kerrigan has been removed in all of the missions where she isn't an absolute necessity. However, all of the units directly are significantly better. Like, for example, we have this thing called the Swarm Lurker which is a swarm host that shoots locust on cooldown, but also has spines, like a lurker. <laughs> uh, which is uh, about as cursed as you would imagine it is. We have bowel spewers. Bowel spewers are basically roach ravager equivalents. These guys regenerate 20% of their hit points per second. Now, if that's not enough, you can burrow them, and they regenerate 40% of their HP a second. Which is, uh, yeah, decent. Hunter killers. Oh yeah, the banelings. The banelings are very big banelings that shoot little banelings like a siege weapon. So imagine a large baneling that shoots little banelings. That's what the baneling is like in this particular campaign. So it's all a little bit different than what you're used to. I finished, um... During the battle... I finished the Bone Trench. Orders, we will move our Leviathan into the yeah, we're gonna go and save Jimmy now today. That's the plan. Is that a little LP? No, I don't think so. We should have those Banelings in multiplayer, dude. Oh my god, what? There was a hair sticking out of my mouse in the front? This is what you guys were talking about? Whoa, dude. That is... Alright, that's not what I expected. Maybe that's why Twitch temporarily removed the 720 uh, or the 1080p option. Yeah, you guys got me from every angle, man. Yeah, I get it. That's beautiful. To hack the Dominion's restricted network? Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Easy Skip mission. Perfect. I did it. GG easy. So this is the uh this is the battle cruiser mission. I can't really be bothered with that one. GG. GG. I did it. Time to contact Valerian. Ooh. I have to know where Jim is. Why are these so zoomed in? Why is the new unit screen on the mission select so bad? <laughs> Anyways, we got a Brood Guardian. Powerful Siege Flyer. Can cast Bombardment from a distance. 
and spawns brute links with every hit. So this is like a brute lord and a guardian, like merged into. Okay. Look at that pathetic Hyperion, by the way. We found him. Embarrassing. The bro guardian. Yeah. <sighs> what is this? <laughs> Did you just link a video from Serral from 2020? What, <laughs> what is this? I often use Sally while I'm working on a PC. <laughs> what? No! This, this... Is this what I need to be a professional gamer? Or is Serral just shooting an ad? Or both? I can... Hmm. Uh, this, this is, uh, I don't, this is, this is, this is not, I don't know how I feel about this. This also kind of looks like he's playing on a wireless PC, which, uh, no, 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 no. There's a gap in the chair for ventilation. Oh yeah, of course. Naturally. Is he playing on a, a wire? No, no, no. Sorry. What did I say? I meant Wi-Fi. No, no, no. He's not playing on a wireless PC. Although absolute giga chat, he is apparently using his PC case right here as a cup holder. You have to have solid micro in order to put your PC or to use your PC rather as a table. I don't recommend it because I would definitely spill coffee all over my computer, which is uh, difficult to get rid of. Yeah. I don't really know exactly what you would do at that point. It keeps your drink warm. <laughs> what is it this time? This, this one? Not skippable. And apparently I do get Kerrigan in this one. Retribution will be mine. According to Colonel Orlin, the Moros also contains a secret lab where they have been experimenting on the Zerk. If found, we may be able to salvage some biomass. It, yes. Okay. Makes So I do have these powerful abilities, but I don't think I want to go too crazy. I don't know if it deals friendly fire. No, it doesn't seem to. Oh, wow. That was awkward. Ah! Jeez. I tried getting Carrigan on the low ground like seven times, but she jumped at that edge instead. Okay, well, that sucked. I don't know if I'm on a, in a rush at all. Hey, I got regular queens! There she is! Brenda, Karen, what is it and Susan. Susan, no! Wait, did Karen already die? I didn't even notice. They sealed the primary bulkhead. You're going to have to break through. There's a timer? Wait, what? Where? My swarm. Guard me while I take care of this. The swarm answers your call. The coupling's taking Oh yeah, the prison damage. deck is losing HP. She's breaking into maximum security. Hmm. Stop her now. Poor Karen. I know. To be fair, nobody really liked her. Stand back up. Heavy weapons are moving in. Oh. Be careful. Despite the twenty percent HP regen, I still uh still managed to lose it, which is quite impressive, really. Not as easily done. No! Leave! 
Kerrigan alone. Okay. All right, all right, we're good. What Not even close. I did lose a lot of units during all of that, though. Kerrigan, it's Horner. The security station near you holds the ship's prisoner log. If you can, is this the secret info? We'll figure out the rest after Jim's safe. Kerrigan, there's a large number of guards nearby. No, there's still another bonus objective. Virophages here. The infested will tear into those defenses. It's your call. Okay. Um, I don't know where the bonus objective would be, guys. I mean, it's secret, so I guess that explains why. Okay, we're gonna get some free units. Oh, God. Um, I think I'm gonna try and take this relatively slowly, because I still have about half HP remaining. The, uh, biles are amazingly powerful. Yeah, they spawn, they spawn so many powerful units. It's just that the cooldown is like half a minute, I think. I think I'm gonna s wait for one more set of biles and then we'll go from there. Okay. Oh, no! The hell? Where are these things even popping out of? Okay. I hope I have enough. Yeah, I will have enough here. Go, 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 go! Jimmy, I'm coming for you! It's all over. Oh. This isn't happening. Destroy the coupling. Jettison the prison deck. You heard the man. Blast it. We're cutting the prisoners. All the prisoners, by the way, on this platform are bald men. Remember that? At the end of this mission. Spoiler alert. There's a bunch of bald men. Are bald men just evil? Is that is that what the story is trying to say? I went to watch the new Dune movie recently. And all the bad guys in that movie are also bald. Like the Harkonnen are all bald. Do you think that's a coincidence? It's, it's a defining feature, right? Yeah. Listen, Al Gaib! Muadib! What did he just say? They are all here. It is mixed. I'm just saying, guys. Oh, I have five minutes. What is it? Five minutes in a dream. Retribution. Speak. You're turning evil? What is it? Turning evil, also known as balding. I love it. That was a very manly noise. Rarely has a more manly noise been made on Twitch. Enough of this. Tear down that gate. I'm looking for the secret documents! Where are they? Where's the porn? Maybe it's over here. That's it! No! Yes! There's still a secret document somewhere else, though. We have three and a half minutes. I hope I didn't already miss it. Like, if it wasn't a previous section of the map, I'm gonna have to do, redo the whole thing. Is it safe? Is the evil timer gone? The evil timer is... No, it's a back... It's another timer, dude. 
It got replaced by an, a more obvious timer. The previous one was a degrading health bar. Hey, thank you very much, blue hair. I think it's over here. I, I think it's over there, if I recall correctly. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we go over here, we go over here. I think the final setup- There it is! The final magazine. Horny, I got your data. Roger that. Thank you, Kerrigan. Nice, dude. The Terran vessel is falling apart. You must hurry, my <sighs> Very good. What is it? Oh, snap. That's a lot of units. Oh! Do I need Kerrigan at all, or is she... I would say... That Kerrigan is rather important in this mission. Yeah. But very soon we finally get to have the loving embrace of Raynor again. So I don't think we can really be too sad about anything. We get to hang out in his muscly arms again. Or however Kerrigan considers this. Not exactly sure what to expect, but I'm excited for it. That man literally has shoulders the size of, I don't know, his head. Roger that. Thank you, Kerrigan. Rainer is as close to a real-life Super Saiyan. Digitally. Yeah, my the best part of the story is coming up. This is gonna be that moment where Kerrigan is gonna share that that thing that we did the entire Wings of Liberty campaign for. Turned out to be irrelevant. <laughs> 